asking that you calm us down. Hallelujah, that we may hallelujah just go forth and do things in due order. We ask you in the name of Yeshua, hallelujah, to be kind, extra special. Hallelujah, and bless these grandparents, these godparents. Bless them in the name of Yeshua. We beg of thee in Yahshua's name. We pray so dear. Hallelujah. I got a little bit of reading for you today. Just a little bit before we do this. And then we're going to be out your way. Hallelujah. But we thank and praise Yah today for this great service. And you know, I get a little excited every time they offer up a child, you know, because a lot of times the parents won't go, and, but their children will. And so a lot of times that we see now in this day and time, you know, somebody in the household needs to be praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was telling them on last Sabbath, you know, when we began to look at all of these devastating things that's going on in the world today. We see cyclones Thank and you. earthquakes and all sorts of uh, tornadoes and windstorms that's going yeah. through. And you know what? A lot of folks haven't even taken notice of what's happening. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you something today that Yah is angry. Hallelujah. He's angry because of the works of man. That's right. He's angry because, number one, we let our children go and do what they want to do. Right. And this is an offering service of children, and I've got to talk about you parents. Because in order to have a great child, then the parents got to do something. Come on. Uh, you got the Bible said, train them in the way that they should yeah. go. And when they get all they want, depart from it. Come on. So today we come here, this is a twofold lesson because it's for the parents and it's for the children. Uh -huh. uh, so we're going to try not to uh, to uh, get too far off course here, but I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm a preacher and I love to preach. I was called to preach. Uh oh, watch how you say that. Hallelujah. <laughs> I start putting my jacket off here in a minute. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to his name. Hallelujah. All right, now over here, I want to just take you a little bit here now. And we realize that in the Hallelujah. first chapter of the book of Genesis, and, and, and Yah, he, he, he believes in setting everything in order. He set it in order back there, and he's still setting it in order today. Yes, he is. I believe the command was, be ye fruitful and multiply. Yeah. yeah. Gave that command to man. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with having children. Thing is, and I like to see these children have some damage. Uh, I see a lot of children and the mamas is shouldering the burdens. And when you look around for them daddies, you know they're not around. You better tell the thing it. That, I, that, that troubles me so much is that when I see children today, and I don't see the, the man that made the child. Come on. Now, this is the thing. I, I want to talk to you young mothers just for a few minutes, and I want you to know how to keep yourself chaste. Take your time. And I want to tell you something. If a man thought enough of you, and you thought enough of him to let him do what he did, uh -huh. and now... The product is sitting before us today. Yes, sir. And he ought to have been a man enough to say to take you down to the altar and put a ring on your finger. <laughs> Sometimes folks don't like this, but I got to tell you like it is. You better tell it, Bishop. I got to tell you like it is because I, I got to tell you this because you might go and do it again. Now we're going we to forgive the first one. We're going to forgive that. But when you start going back and doing these doozies and doozies, Better tell it. Now listen, I want, to, I want to read a little something in your hearings. Uh, they said, dearly beloved, the divine human task of developing a personality after the birth of a child is the most delicate and serious work to which man is called. All the size and that's my glasses. They are king right up here in the brain. Now I keep right on trying to cheat. <laughs> I know I can't cheat, but I won't let me. Okay. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, sometimes when you try to cheat, people say you can't read. And you can't see, you can't read, and you can't see it. And they look at that man, that man can't read. Yeah, but yes, I can, I can read. I can all right, I just couldn't see it. Yeah, we're going to have a good time today. Is that all right? You go ahead. Yeah, all right. Good you know, job. You just sound up a little bit. Come on. You know, don't be so serious. You know, you know, you know, you know that's a, a, a sermon that I preach is shake it off. Hallelujah. And sometimes, you know, when you walk into the house of God, you got to shake it off. Yeah. Sometimes you got a lot of stuff hanging on. To Come you. on. And you got to shake that stuff off. Shake it. Until you get it loose. Yeah. Ah. Well, that's okay. all right. Let's see if we can get through this here. <laughs> it's a dear beloved, the divine human task of developing a personality yes. after the birth of a child is the most delicate and serious work to which man is called. Mm -hmm. All the sighs and sounds that play upon the sensitive little body help to determine his or her future characteristics. Come on. The love of the home affects the child in a thousand yes, ways sir. for good. Right. As the child grows, he may receive, he or she, may receive the spiritual life of his parents as a rose drink in the sunlight. The conversation of a mother with a child, even at a very tender age. Now, the scripture teaches us that we ought to teach them, to right. teach it to them when they get up in the mornings. Hallelujah. We ought to give it to them at noonday. We ought to give it to them and when they lie down at night. For these children are precious in the sight of God. Hallelujah. They came here not of their own accord. But they came here, Hallelujah. and they are here. And since they are here, then now it, it, it behooves us to give them the right thing. We have to be righteous people so that we can put instill in them a way that you won't see them going down the streets when they get older. Oh, I wish I had a church in here today. When they start to grow and mature in life, somebody's going to take notice that that child came from some place. That child came from a foundation. And I feel my help coming there. So y'all bear with me a little while. Because the second chapter of the book of Timothy teaches us. In the 19th verse, and nevertheless, help me, Holy Spirit. The foundation of y'all standing short. I feel my help today. God knows them that are here. So that everyone that name is the name of the Messiah. Depart from iniquity. I feel like I can preach. Right now. Hallelujah. I don't want to scare this little baby. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say so now, it will make for a fuller and richer growth. Say so I teach them when they when when they're young now, and you don't realize it, but this this child right now, she's soaking in everything that's going on everything. around her. Their 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 senses are so open right now. To what's going on around them, and you would not believe what they are comprehending and what they are taking in. They're just like a sponge. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. Yes, they're they soaking are. up everything. So if you walk around the house and cussing, they, they, they get a little bit bigger, they're gonna try to say the same word they heard you say. If you're walking around doing what you do and you know it's not right, oh, yeah. they're gonna 